quick guide on using one of these press tools to install the bearings on a common cell frame. This doesn't fit all of the common cell frames, but it does fit the vast majority of them. This is a common cell meta from 2008. What you do is, put your bearing onto there. This fits at the back of the housing. Then goes into there. And that simply attaches in here. Once you have it in a reasonable amount of distance, what you want to do is take these two, put them around a bit where they should fit, tighten that up until it sits nice and flush. Then you simply take your two spanners, both 13mm, one goes at the back, one at the front, and then you just press it in. At some point this is going to start to bite, and when it does bite you just ease right off. It's starting to get a little bit tighter now. You can feel it taking more pressure. I'm going to stop it there. Stop it a bit there. I'm going to ease it off. What I do now is I simply slacken this part off and have a look at the back of the housing. I can visually see that it's sitting where it should be. So I'm going to leave it there. At this point, I'm going to move on to doing the next bearing. I'm going to wing this back out. I'm simply going to remove the backing plate. Put that onto there. Chuck these into my pocket. So it's in place. Bring that to there. And just simply tighten that up a reasonable amount. Take up some of the slack. Put that into place again. And then that's that. Once I have those into place. Same technique again, one spanner at the back, one at the front, and just tighten this in. It's starting to bite, so what I'm going to do is just a little bit more, and slacken it off. Check it at the back, visually check it to make sure both bearings are sitting shoulder to shoulder, or in this case race to race. And then I'm going to put my fingers into them, and just manually rotate them to make sure it's a nice easy rotation once it's in the housing. That's basically how it works.